I'd say there's kind of three common misunderstandings about Afghanistan. The first one I'd say is that Afghanistan is a problem, one that cannot be resolved. This is patently not true. Afghanistan in and of itself is not a problem. The situation that's been produced in Afghanistan through internal dynamics as well as external intervention has developed into a problem. But Afghanistan in and of itself is not a problem. Connected with that, and to kind of put a finer point on it, that problem is often considered to be the fact that Afghanistan is quote unquote a failed state. That is the problem with Afghanistan. It's a failed state, and thus it's a land of kind of primordial chaos with no rules and people having no responsibility and kind of reverting to some form of, some form of um, primitive society. What we have in Afghanistan is the political breakdown of state institutions, which have created an environment for alternative types of politics to flourish. Simply because we have the breakdown of a certain type of state doesn't mean that we have the breakdown of all types of political order. In Afghanistan today, people live their daily lives under a lot of duress, often in very insecure environments that are not of their choosing and not of their making and not environments they have much control over. But they continue to live, they raise their kids, people go to school, they perform business, they travel, they have everyday lives. And I think that's an important thing to remember. The last kind of big common misunderstanding of Afghanistan, I think, is that its people are almost always in the media and popular press portrayed as tribal. And this is often really just a stand-in word for primitive, that these people are somehow uh, less advanced, less civilized, part of an earlier age that we, the West, have outgrown. While the idea of tribes does have some validity when talking about Afghanistan, the way it's popularly depicted and understood, i.e. that it's primitive people are tribal. After all, we don't call really anybody in the United States tribal anymore. Um, I think is very, very problematic. And I think until we get beyond these kind of easy one-liners, failed state, tribal people. We're not really going to begin to understand what's going on in the region.